Like, is it a person? And you're it, like, it's supposed to be a person, but it's it's a robot, you know? Hmm. So I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, I was like, well, let me be nice to the robot. So I was like, thank you very much. And she was like, you're really welcome. Smiley face. I'm like, is she hitting on me? Welcome back. We're back. We're going in this dungeon. We Just have finally it. uncovered the secrets we... of the lost city of the tomb of the Mababer. Um, we will figure out what the heck is going on in this creepy dungeon asyl. Yes. Look at it. Candles and other things. And... It's an oh. interesting like area because it's like... All those mechanics we just used, but now in a dungeon and actual. Like, hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah! Look at that. The help died. Ugh, these things. This is um. Hey yeah. Oh, also off camera we got a potion. Yes. And um, we got a potion. And got our hearts up. And, and we got a bottle. We did get a bottle. We got a very nice and smooth and. And we, bottle. we got some more adventure packs, or mm. whatever the hell they're called. Um, Things so we could hold more. And we found we, a adventure heart medallion that takes up It was in one heart. of the Sky Cube chests, so that gives us more chances to get hearts, um, which is always good. Yeah, and basically any over. Sky chests that we don't get on camera, we get off camera just... It's like 30 minutes of us just flying around, grabbing a chest, and then flying back here. Pretty much. So we didn't really want to, like, you didn't have to see it. We got 100 rupees, a heart piece. Um, yeah, we didn't want to inconvenience anyone. Surprise! Unless we want to inconvenience you by pressing that like button. That's not an inconvenience. That's a and that's writing a, uh, a comment. Enjoy. Yeah, write us a comment. We'll you know? we'll we'll talk back. We don't. I mean, it's actually us talking. We'll be like, hey, how's it going? And yeah, you'll be like, hey. I haven't been able to teach my robot self how to type yet. So, you know, he can't he can't respond oh, just quite yet. There but, uh, are those things where it's like, really? it, it's it's creepy. Where it's like robots, but they like talk to you. So, all right. You mean so, like Alexa? Kind of, but it's like through typing. So, I, oh, really? That's what I, yeah. Um, oh, well, give me a thing. We got a um, jelly. There's a, a, a job that I was going for, going for, and um, they have, like, the interview process. Mm -hmm. and Most jobs do have an interview process. It was on, it was online, and then after I finished it, it was like an evaluation or something. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yes, he didn't die. Wow, I, um, I thought you were going to die. Ah, oh, my God, creepy thing falling from the ceiling. Um... Not very after after that process, there was a digital digital assistant to help you um, like schedule the the interview and all that stuff. So to say what you did wrong? No, just to say like, hey, I'm here to like you know, and then you, you can type back to it. And it was a computer, but they would like answer questions. You know, they would be like, huh, like how's it going and stuff like that. But I didn't know it. It was on the side of the screen. And then they were like, do you want reminders of when your interview is coming up? And I was like. Oh, okay. So I typed back, yeah, right? And then they were like, no problem. Here, you know, I'll set reminders and I'll do this. And I was like, oh, this is really cool, right? Like, is it a person? And you're it, like... It's supposed to be a person, but it's it's a robot, you know? Hmm. So I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, I was like, well, let me be nice to the robot. So I was like, thank you very much. And she was like, you're really welcome. Smiley face. I'm like, is she hitting on me? <laughs> I'm like, She's that's like, probably one way to get like fired from the from a interview I mean, what, like being like hitting on the, the virtual know. now i want to know if you texted her and like you were like hey you know we had a great time during this you, you want to go out on a date like what would it say would it be like i don't know not compute face too ugly it's just like complete rejection and you're like no i don't know but i thought it was, like this. i thought it was kind of weird i was like oh this is kind of like weird um you know what's funny that you bring but it was, this... Oh, look, it's your favorite thing. I know, I love these guys. They're so cool. Because it's like, you got to be fast. And if you don't kill them, boom, they regenerate. 
So like the thing with these guys is normally you can't just hack and slash like you just did and just instantly Who kill says? them. You gotta like line it up. There we you go. You gotta get <laughs> them in the correct line. It's very strategic, and you're supposed to be doing it that way. Very I shun you very, for your, yeah, your very strategic. easy ways of doing things. Hey man, it's but not easy. It's interesting with your little robot story because um, I had like the exact opposite, like a hundred percent exact opposite thing happen to me. Um, you you know what a VTuber is? It's basically like a YouTuber, but instead of a face cam, they use like some anime character that motion tracks their face. So when you see the character, you're seeing like the face of a anime character moving. You're not seeing the real person. Huh. Um, granted, they all say like, oh yeah, this is the real me. And obviously, they're not. It's, you know, an anime character. Um, but apparently... They did this weird thing, I think they made it into a YouTube video, where there was someone trying to, like, pretend to be a VTuber, and... Or, not pretend, like, they were one, but they were trying to pretend that they were a robot, and talking with people as if they were, like, an Alexa. Weird. And so people were responding, saying, like, like, oh, you know, like typical robot things but then out of nowhere she'd say like a random human thing and they're like what the heck like you're you're not a robot like you're you're a human and it, it's funny because it's like it's literally the exact opposite thing that happened to you where you're like you had a robot that kind of felt like a human this was like a human pretending to be a robot and then like it was like wait a second you know like what's real it becomes hard to distinguish when you have oh, this like medium between you. A hundred percent. There are there are like those chat places where they're like, oh, chat with me, you know, and it's like you can chat, but then you're like, your responses are very robotic. It's oh, like, oh, you know what's interesting? I, I I I saw a video on that or an article or something. You know those those all those like dating things where it's like this is a real human talking with you, you know, respond or whatever. Obviously, they're not real humans, but what's actually interesting is sometimes they will be a real human. Not that they are one. A lot of times what they do is they send robots out, and if the conversation initiates and it looks like it's, you know, going into something that they're trying to do for their business or whatever, they'll switch out the robot with a real person. So then you actually will be talking to a real person. And they won't, like, tell you that it's switched. Not like, oh, Jessica handed you to real-life Jessica. It's just, like, it's the same thing. You just won't know. And then out of nowhere, it is a real person you're talking to. To, like, continue the scam or business or whatever, mm. you know, they're trying to do. So. That is one thing that I... I very clever. It, it there's a lot of scams. It's like ugh, too much scams. Like there's so many scams online and stuff. I mean, the problem with scams is scams only work oh. with dumb people, and there's a lot of dumb people. You know? I mean, it doesn't even have to be that. You don't really have to be dumb. It could just be like, you know. Yeah. No, it's just it's just. I don't know why they explode. Because they're explosion fish. Mm, yes, that explains everything. Explosion fish. Explosion fish make up 99% of the reasons why fish explode. Yes? Oh, I love this heart medallion because I'm finding a lot more hearts, man. I was like... That's not what it does, though. The heart medallion? The one that I got allows me to... Um... Oh, there's a second one? Mm -hmm. You have it's... double heart medallions? Yeah, it's right over... <sighs> well, he... It's a mystery. This one right here, it allows me to find more hearts. Oh, in what? That's so good. Room. That was from one of the chests. That's so it, good. It allows me to find more hearts in the environment. So, like, I won't, you won't hear that hopefully annoying beeping sound every five seconds because everything wants to kill me in a goddamn electric in this place. I mean, you've already learned that the second time you attack those things, they're going to yeah. electrocute you. But it's All just right, like... wait, no, wait. I'm not going into there. What? That's crazy. What you need to look for is a little time thing that may be up somewhere. Mmm, time thing up. Boom, got it. The question is, how do you activate said time thing? Because most of the time you need a bomb or something, and... Mm hmm. Bomb's not 
very available unless there's a bomb somewhere like in your pocket I don't know can you grab bombs that you place on the floor I might oh there's a bomb over there <gasps> I feel like that should be the solution but at the same time it very easily could not be the solution I love my little beetle and yes I know I've played this game before and I've beaten it that does not mean I remember even half the problems that I uh, am faced with. I mean, the amount of games we play, it's like, yeah. There was there was something there was something in this game, and I was like, I was like, wait, what? Wasn't it? And I was remembering Twilight Princess, even mm -hmm. though I've never played this game. I was like, wait, what? Where is the, you know? But I was just remembering a different game. They all start, and those games are very different. You would think, oh, they're not gonna blend. Well, but, yeah. Twilight Princess has a unique style, but the general style of the Link and some of the aspects of the game are very much the same as this. So, oh, mm, I hate those. Cool. My Actually, favorite. I like those guys. These are like one of my um, my favorite enemies. Did you know? No. Um, these guys are kind of interesting. Let me guess. Yep. <laughs> you figured it out perfectly. It's a slice there's, and stab. There's a line. Yeah, but you also have to do the stab in the eye or it still attacks you. And that stab got me the first time, but it's like, ah, oh, it's so genius and it flows so well. Those are just to sabotage your movement. I kind of want to get that one. Yeah, but you'll, right, you'll, end up, you'll end up over there. Oh, what do we have here? What? No fall damage. Yeah, man. Oh, see, this Whoa, is the thing no. where you have to outrun it. That's yeah. why they give you the run fruits. Otherwise, no, yeah. no stamina fruits. Uh oh, and it's timed. It is? It might be. Hearts, I love hearts. Oh man, this medal is so great. It might be timed. The question is will you make it? So many obstacles in your path. How will you make it in? Oh, that was so close. I thought you were a goner. I. Knew I was gone. But you weren't a god. I know. Which means Because I believed in myself. Which means our double negatives of me not believing you and get you not on, believing yourself. Get on the ladder! Is this the goner that you meant? The one like the goner that doesn't know how to climb ladders. You would think that'd be such an easy thing, yet at the same time. Cool. These were all the most always the most satisfying of bad guys. You just slice and stab. They were in they were in a couple. The little Oh wait, no. All right, well, I mean, might as well. Dude's just like, did someone just slice me in half? Oh, and they stab me oh, in the look, eye. There's one well, over there. okay, I see how it is. Ooh, I, that one. I think you can get it by going the other path, but this path works too, I guess. I, oh, nope, nope. I think it's Jump the sign that you can't fall off without. Hey, I'm gonna. S wow. Okay. Yeah, when you run out of stamina. You he didn't slow. attack me though. Oh yeah, he's he nice. didn't. He didn't. He didn't like. He wasn't like. Oh, oh were you assuming he was one of the evil enemies in this game? I was like, I mean, surely he's gonna hit me. Has even one of them attacked you so far? No. Yes. I got hit by one of them. No. No. Well, you kind of walked into that one. He didn't, uh, he didn't really. He had it you. coming. Boop. No fall damage. So I think Where? you go the right path. You went up and left, but you never went right. Can I get that? Oh yeah, yeah. Stamina fruits. Hey, the stamina fruits. What was fruits in the bounce. chest? What? What was in the chest that rupees? I got from up there? Twenty oh. rupees. That was. Lovely. Oh no. Come uh -oh. on. Oh no. Get the stamina fruits. I can always just walk this. though, like this. Yeah. It's like, not really that. Like. Oh no. I mean. I walk at the same speed as the uh, as a fast moving. He's a fast walker. You gotta pace yourself, man. Otherwise, you're gonna you're not gonna make it in time. Mm, that's kind of cool. I'm glad that they have the um, time stuff in it. Mm. Hey. Oh my god. No, that, yeah, that's what I wanted to link. I mean, it looked like Sky that's what you Lord, to do. Master, whatever. I think he's called Sky Lord. Sky Lord? Master Sky Lord. Doctor, Saint, Patrick, Master, the third, fifth, removed, twice, Sky Lord. Scolded hey, you Sky have two. Lord. Wow. Okay. Cool. Not very hard. Good to know. Days. 
Very satisfying one, but not my favorite. My favorite are those guys that you perfectly line up there. I'm, way. like, surprised that, like, they gave you enough time to be like, oh, yeah, you can, you know, hit the two heads and then go back for the one. I feel like it should have been, like, he's immune if you don't get it perfect. Because that's, that's how it felt like it was to me. Mm. But, uh... Things change. Mm. Things change. Also, this... this oh, okay, is yeah. Really big. Like, this is not a small dungeon at all. Um, I don't know. I don't have a map yet. <laughs> I need a map. Wait, we still don't have a map and we're this, like, late into the dungeon? Yep. No map for me. Hmm. You, come over Did here. you ever try consulting a map? I have. Well, it's a partial map. Yeah. Are you going... He's floating over. You just... You missed. Cool. Him. Good you, Like, job. you were, like, a second away. I, is that gonna work? Oh well, that nope. Well, that, that's not gonna that's work. Not oh gonna no! Work. Oh, you don't, not gonna pocket it? Pocket the go. exploding bomb! I the... No, I don't have time for you. I wonder if there's a way to pocket the bomb while it's exploding and do something weird. That feels like, like something. Blow that yourself I, up or something? Well, it feels like something that a speedrunner or someone looking to find glitches would do, and it would just work somehow. But um, I don't know for certain. It's just it just feels right. Feels like the right thing, you know? What is with all these little scorpion-y things? I don't know. They're not really that big of a deal? All I they mean... do is kind of screech at you and say like, Look at me, look at me, I'm a tasty rupee. <sighs> and then they turn into a rupee. Come on. Come on, guys, not cool. I mean, spikes they're spikes, everywhere. not guys. There's guys, a big difference. spikes, they're all the same to me. I mean, that's like saying Mario is a guy. He is, isn't he? Unless I've been reaping. Oh, cool. cool. What? Nah. This whole time? That works. That, you know, that, that tracks. Like, yeah. I hit him with my sword every other time? Nothing. This well, time? you kind of hit him to the side of the wall. I mean, it, it, it's, it did something. And go. Hit him straight. Boom. There we go. It's exactly what you wanted to do. Yes, I oh, did. Boy. I mean, I, I think that's what you wanted, right? It looks yes. good. Why are there mounds of dirt? Can you clean those mounds of dirt? Can I give them a shake? Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake, shake, no, shake, do you have like an item that can do anything? On dirt? Mm -hmm. Not that I know. Oh, you know what I think those dirt things are? Dirt. They are hiding stuff. Oh. Uh, uh, why, why are the ladders in this truly being a pain in the ass? What did I get a map? Give me the map. That's a good question. I need a I map. Do not know. <gasps> oh, that's what it was. You got the the flute. Oh, so it's Luigi's Mansion. Yes! Wait, is it? Are we finally getting Luigi's Mansion again? Oh, this was in Super Smash Brothers also. Yeah. Like, that was super annoying if you tried to get back up on a cliff. Mm-hmm. Okay. This was the you can't play the game because I can just keep you off the map for some reason. Yeah. Wee! Get out of here, don't ask. Wee! Oh, do I have to here. go you down don't. there and collect all that stuff? No. Do I have to blow all that? It's just, you can get out of here. blow don't off the you. little shrimp things. Jump over there, blow oh, off the I must next little spike. shrimp things. Now you can blow those guys into it without uh, having I mean, to attack. I blow a lot of guys. I mean, yeah. Bam! Boom! Mm. The ones with the really big mounds, mm. I think, have something important. Or, you know, the chest surrounded by Everything 30, is not operating as it should today. Look at that guy. He's like, I'm going to get you. He's like right that there. That is a very like, cinematic shot. Like holding up to him. That get is off. That's impressive. That was impressive. I'm going to have so much of that jelly stuff. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the jelly's the one item that you don't use for literally anything. Well, I mean, makes sense. I mean, that's the only reason they're giving it to you. Spikes and coins and... Get out of here, no one wants to. You know, it's interesting, those little spike traps that go up, if you walk into them, you'll probably take damage. But what doesn't make sense is why you take damage. The, only the tip is spiky. If you walk into it to the side, it yeah, should be just like just, little metal bars. Yeah, it's just nothing. Like that's Look, a, it's nothing. Yeah, I mean, you could throw a bomb that way, but it's like, what, five coins? Yeah. You'd rather have the bomb. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> He's Nobody like, this wants is you. fun until I blow up, and then it's not so fun. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not getting that. There's there's no reason. We'll just go this way. Oh my god, there's so much blowy. You're gonna, so you're much gonna blow you're gonna fall in this No, you know? No, no, just slice it. I gotta say this this area is a little different than um, kinda what I remember it being. And by a little bit different, I mean like a lot of it different. Oh, okay, good. They had to that. Because I was like, oh, I just messed up. I mean, like, I don't remember. Any I remember the blowy, and I remember the dust sand, but I don't remember, like, the blowy, the dust sand, you know? It's. I mean. Up the ladder. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I, I imagine it could either be really cool or kind of really dumb mm -hmm. but but i don't know all we know oh. is look at the two little lumps and the long the big lump the big See, like, long sandy lump. well you know what that was such a beautiful sight i think we're gonna have to end the episode off here already as me as me blowing the door it was impressive mm. but we're gonna have to figure out what that lump was uh guarding on the next episode so till then thank you for watching see you guys later